Welcome, everyone. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for stopping by. And I think we're up to over 500 subscribers now, and I really want to thank everybody for subscribing. So if you hadn't subscribed, please subscribe. It helps the channel. doesn't cost you anything. Anyway, let's get into it. This is a follow-up on the Husky Amber Rose skin in the Husky dog, right? It appears that they charged her with a misdemeanor animal cruelty. Now, the reason for their, their stating that they could not charge her under any of the other statutes was that they couldn't prove negligence. They couldn't prove negligence. But you don't have to prove negligence. You just simply don't. Here's what you have to prove. Cruelty to animals. Exception. A person commits the offense of animal cruelty to animals if without justification he knowingly or negligently subjects an animal to mistreatment or neglect by killing an animal. Now, the, the requirements of the statutes are knowingly and negligently. Negligently. Okay, so the bottom line is is if they you don't have to pr prove both elements. But here's a fun fact for you. Back in 2018, this family over into, and I, I say that lightly, not fun fact, but there was a family in Montana in C-H-O-U-T-E-A-U -E County. And that's two counties over from Flathead County where the Husky was skinned. Now, this was in 2018, 2018, two years ago. A woman's German Shepherd, I couldn't believe it, she quotes, that would happen, especially around here, and how somebody could do that to such a sweet old dog, said Angeline Bella Dia. Her German Shepherd, old dog, was shot and skinned. You mean there's two idiots out there that want to skin someone's dog? I would like to challenge the fact that, uh, yeah, they ought to look into that one too. There's, there's not a whole lot of people that it just crosses their mind to skin someone's dog or shoot a dog. This woman's an idiot, and she should have been charged with aggravated animal cruelty. The sheriff in this case said that's exactly what they were going to do. Now, I don't know if they ever caught the people. I didn't follow up on it. Don't even know that it's related. It just saw, it just seemed kinky to me that you would have, in a two-year period of time, in a, an adjacent county that's one county over from Flathead County, you would have someone's old dog killed and skint. I mean, killed, got it. People are sadistic, but killed and skinned? Sound familiar? Yeah, kind of does. You know, those two dipshits. But I can guarantee you this. Had I been the judge in this case and the state proved its case, which pretty much proves itself with the photographs and the skint dog in the back of the truck, she would get the maximum allowed by law. And she'd pay the maximum fine. I don't care if that was a year in jail. Her ass would do a year in jail. And the bottom line is, you got to understand, folks, the reason they didn't charge her with a aggravated animal cruelty is because most of the time police are lazy and they just don't want to do anything. Oh, it's just a dog. No, this is a pattern. I mean, I found it with just a simple Google, Google search. It just seems shocking to me that you'd have two cases kind of resembling each other now it could be totally coincidence it could be the fact that somebody else did the same thing two counties over could possibly be within a two-year period but it seems hinky to me that that would uh, take place but that's what i got for you today folks and uh again she was charged we'll see about the conviction and the sentencing on it but i don't know i just think they're lazy and they should have charged her but now, keep in mind, most of the time when DAs bring uh, reduce charges, it's because of just lazy police work. They just don't have the evidence. 
you can't prove knowingly and intentionally when you have a skint dog in the back of the damn truck. I mean, I don't know how many cases have to be just lifted up and handed to you, lazy asses. I mean, hell, looks like Flathead, Flathead County is starting to look like Uvalde, Texas. No comparisons. Uvalde was awful, and none of them should still be cops. I digress. The point being is this. Do your damn job. They're not going to stop at skinning animals, you dipshits, especially if these two are related. I'm going to leave the link down in the description and draw your own conclusions. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.